welcome to the prim and proper kitchen so it seems like it's been forever since i shared any recipes and as some of you may know when i first started this youtube channel i was mostly sharing recipes but i haven't done that in a while and i miss sharing recipes with you all and so in this video i'm going to share with you all a new way of seasoning your chicken to get it juicy and tasty if you have watched some of my previous videos you may have already seen that i've shared at least two other videos where i share different ways of seasoning your chicken and this is my new way of share, um, seasoning my chicken so i'm going to go over the items that you will need it's mostly the same items that I've used in the past, except I've added a few more items like cloves, um, when tia, if you know, if you're a Ghanaian, that you know what that is. I'm using fresh rosemary. I'm using some thyme. I'm using some crushed peppers. And so I will list everything in the description below. But basically, here's everything that I'm going to use. I'm going to blend everything up after I've cut them up um, using a little bit of oil. And then I'm going to season my chicken really well with that. Okay, so to quickly go over the items that I'm blending up to season my chicken, I'm using one large white onion, one large red onion. I'm using about two to three thumbs of ginger. I'm using about five cloves of garlic. I'm using some hot peppers. So you see I'm using the long green hot peppers today, but you can use any hot pepper that you would like. I'm using some fresh rosemary as well as some fresh thyme. I'm using some shrimp seasoning. I'm using some cloves and some wintia, which I can't remember the English name right now, but I will find it and put it in the description below. I'm also using some basil, some fresh basil leaves, um, about three to four leaves of basil. And I'm using some crushed red peppers because I didn't have hot red pepper. I'm using some crushed red peppers. I'm using some fennel anise seeds and some cumin. And I'm going to blend everything up together after cutting them up into smaller pieces using my bullet. They won't all fit in my bullet at once, so I'm going to do it, um, blend what can fit in it, let it go down a bit, and then blend some more. Now let's get into the chicken that I'm using. It's very important that your chicken is cleaned very well. I usually use fresh lemons and water to clean my chicken, take out any extra fat that I don't want. But I've also been using salt um, in the water to clean my chicken. I will even make some salt water and leave my chicken in it for um 45 minutes to an hour just let it sit and let it clean but also the type of chicken that you're using is very important so lately i've been getting the purdue fresh chicken leg quarters from walmart so it's about a 10 pound pack and it's only six dollars so that is pretty cheap and what i love about this chicken is that it's really fresh there are no um antibiotics that I used um, in raising this chicken. There are no hormones and I think it really makes a huge difference in how the chicken tastes. And so after blending all my seasoning and other items, um, my herbs and other stuff together, I'm going to season my chicken with it. I'm also going to add some salt to taste. So use whatever salt, um, quantity of salt that you think is appropriate for you. And I'm going to season my chicken overnight for best results and to make sure that my chicken really marinates very well. So it's the next day and my chicken is ready to be cooked. 
you can put this on a grill if you have one you can also make this in the oven like i'm going to i'm going to broil my chicken in the oven and it really will give you the same results as you would get if you were using a grill so when you're broiling your chicken it's pretty much at the highest um, level of heat that your oven can go to and so you want to keep an eye on your chicken so that it doesn't get burned what i usually do is give each side about 10 to 15 minutes and i'm keeping an eye on it to see that the color is how i would like it I'm also going to take some of the juices that are coming out and around um, in the pan and I'm going to use like a spatula or a big spoon to take the juices and be putting it on the chicken so that the chicken keeps absorbing all those juices so that I'm not losing those juices because um, I want my chicken to be juicy. And because I'm broiling my chicken and the heat is at such a higher level, it really doesn't take that long to cook, no more than 40 to 45 minutes. And as you can see, I got mine burned a little bit, but that's how I want my chicken to be. I want it to look like it was grilled. And so we're all done. Our chicken is ready. It's looking juicy. And you can pretty much have this chicken with whatever you want, with some rice, jollof fries, some fried yams, as we love to have our chicken with, some kinky. If you're having a salad and want to cheat and have some juicy chicken on the side, you can do that too. And so we're all done. Um, I hope you guys will try this recipe and let me know in the comments how you love it. It's really, really good. Um, so thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you back on our channel. Please leave me some comments. I really haven't been getting comments from you all. Um, I would love your feedback if you try this recipe and I hope I'm really trying to put more videos out but please bear with me as I juggle many schedules and many other priorities. Thanks so much for watching this video and for subscribing to our channel. We love and I appreciate you all. Bye guys!